Uh, what's up, crew? Welcome to episode nine of The Window. I'm Marcus. We're here with Mario Salang Sang and Michelle Ozzy. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. So, <laughs> we're back. Um, as you know, Mario and I are part of the education department here at Falling Whistles. And Michelle has been our intern for the past how long? Like two months or something. Two months. Um, yep. we're, we're wrapping up her time here at Falling Whistles, and we thought now would be a great time for a review, for her to kind of tell you a bit about her experience as a Falling Whistles intern or a twin intern, as uh, some like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Michelle, what was your experience as an intern like? Um, I've met great people, great friends. I've learned a lot. I've worked on projects that I never thought I would work on, which is pretty crazy. I have had many a late night in the office back there, which has been really great. Um, I have drank a lot of coffee, which has also been really great. <laughs> and it's been overall a great experience. By the way, we call her Mazi. Yeah. Or Maserati. How'd you hear about Falling Whistles? Right, so I sometimes spend my nights online just surfing the web and I came across the Falling Whistles website and at the time it was the video um, with the words that said the story and so I saw that and I was obviously really um, like intrigued so I wanted to learn more so I went in um, onto the pool. <laughs> what are you laughing at me? What just happened? Yeah, Sit down. I can't do Come on man, you can't just leave. Mario, you can't leave midway. Continuity. Mario's gone. <laughs> just ditched Where were you? Us. I was saying that, um, <laughs> sorry. Right, so how I heard Falling Whistles, I went to their website. Um, I noticed that you guys were on tour, which is pretty cool. And I looked at the calendar, and lucky for me, you guys were rolling into Miami like a day later or so, which was like good timing. So I emailed you guys. I was like, hey, um, a small group of us at my school want to meet you guys. We can talk. And so you guys came and harvested the RV. Stop by my school. Cool. And yeah, and so, so I then met you, you guys on tour. You met the the kids touring around the country. Yeah. And is that when you was that what kind of pushed you over the edge? Said yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to do this. Yeah. Um. I spoke to a lot of the people on the team like after the presentation stuff, and I spoke a lot with Ad, and I was just like, I really want to do this. Like this is awesome. I want to go out there for the summer. So um, I would just like monitor the website to see when the summer app was up, and once it was up, I was like done. I'm applying. Uh, what did your family think when you told them that you were? They were cool with it. Like, they didn't know much about Falling Whistles, so I told them about it, which I thought was pretty awesome. I don't know if they really took it seriously until I actually got in, and I was like, yeah, like, I'm going to L.A. for the summer. And I've been out here for two months. Would you, is there any advice that you'd give to sort of our future intern classes that might be coming through? I would say come with an open mind, be ready to work, be ready to stay late. Better to work with great people, have cool. a great time. Are there any um, memories or experiences, anything that, that, that's been really memorable of your time here? Um, probably, okay, so, like Marcus said, I work in the education department with this crazy fool. Um, and, I'm joking. So, yeah, I work in the education department. I work in the education department, and... Like, our department is the department that stays until, like, the sun is way down, and it's real late. And so if you walk into Falling Whistles at, like, 11 o'clock, it's not uncommon to see the entire education department, like, plugged into their computers working away. Hit me. So probably, like, the memories that I will have are the ones where I was staying way up late in the office with my, with my department, which is pretty cool. And, like, seeing the sun come up even <laughs> sometimes for the next morning. What time is it? It's like 12. Midnight? Ah! Uh, you cool? Uh. So, yeah. It's been, it's been awesome. It's been real fun. Would you do it again? I want to stay. If I could stay, I would totally stay. Had you ever been to California before? I had been once. I went to San Francisco for a week with my family over Christmas break, which was real fun. It was... The weather here is pretty crazy, though, because I'm used to just, like, always hot. And then here you wake up, it's, like, kind of chilly. It's, like, really hot during the day. And then at night, it's, like, parka weather. At least for parka me. Parka weather? It's, like, the ice age occurs in the evening. Parka weather. 
I wonder if we could turn parka into like a exclamation. Yo, man, that's parka. <laughs> I was listening to a, a, a Prince the other day, and at one point, like the um, what's that song? You got the look. She's like, your face is jamming, your body's hecka slamming. So maybe we, hecka, hecka, and it? and then parka. Parker. Hecka Parker. Yeah, that's it. Hecka Parker. Hecka Parker. Thanks, Michelle. Anytime. It was great meeting you in our webs.